past few days, we've detailed many complaints from listeners who are still waiting on an airline voucher after flight cancellations due to COVID restrictions. Well, there may just be a way to solve your problems if you're one of those people, because I'm joined now by the Air Passenger Rights Manager, Sarah Fisher, from the Commission for Aviation Regulation. Um, Sarah, I might start with yourself, and you, if you could just briefly outline what the Commission for Aviation Regulation does in relation to these types of complaints and issues. Good evening. Um, we are the national enforcement body for Regulation 261 of 2004, which is a European regulation which sets out the rights of air passengers when their flights have been cancelled by the airline. And when an airline cancels a flight, the passengers who were booked to fly on that flight have a right to a choice between a rerouted flight or a refund of the cost of the ticket, and the airline should provide that to the passenger. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of talk about vouchers, but vouchers can actually only be issued as a refund with the express permission in writing signed of the passenger. The, the regulation sets out actually that the refund should be paid by bank transfer check, refund to the original payment method, not as a voucher, except with permission. OK, so we might just look at some of the specific issues that people have raised to us. And you can text us now on 51551 if you'd like us to put our, your issues directly to Sarah Fisher this afternoon. Um, this person says, this is Jur, who is texting from Cork. And Jur says, hi there, I'm still waiting for €499 Euro from Ryanair for an April trip to Malaga, cancelled by them in March. I was offered a voucher, but I declined. I sent them a reminder five weeks ago, no response. And, and Sarah, this is similar to a lot of the contacts that we've been getting from listeners, which is that the airline's simply not responding. It's months and months and months and months and still no refund. What can people do? Well, the advice that we give on our website, which is flightrights.ie, has always been that if you haven't heard from the airline within six weeks of your original request, you should submit your complaint to the relevant national enforcement body. If your flight departed from Ireland or was due to depart from Ireland, then that would be us um, and our complaint forms are available on flightrights.ie. Okay, so, so if somebody complains um, to you, what happens then? We, we investigate the complaint. We raise it with the airline, provided it's a valid complaint under the regulation. So how long does that process take and what do you do then if you find that a customer's rights have been infringed? Most of these complaints are not taking very long to investigate because um, it is a simple fact, either the passenger has been refunded or they haven't. Um, and we've, we've, to, we've handled over 4,000 complaints this year in relation to flight cancellations for, because of COVID-19. And over 77% of those are now closed. Um, and we've also, we've obtained about a million euro, just under a million euro in refunds for those passengers. So we are getting through them quite quickly. Well, what is quite um, quickly? Is it, a, you know, a, a couple of weeks? There's a time frame. It, it can be a couple of months because of there months. is a, a, we have to allow the airline a period of time to respond. But um, the sooner people contact us, the sooner we can deal with it. Usually the airlines are quite quick to respond and they, they do want to just get these sorted out. Do they though? Because um, I mean, we've got loads of texts still coming in and we've covered this issue now three days in a row and every time we mention it, the texts flow in from people who are so frustrated. Yeah. They've hundreds and hundreds, in some cases thousands of euro tied up with these airlines who are just black, stonewalling them. They're not, they're not responding, the they're not giving their money. The advice I would give to all of those people is to submit a complaint to us on flightrights.ie so that we can then take that up with the airline. But it may take a couple of out. months for that to be resolved. Well, um, it may be, but if, we, if they don't submit the complaint, we certainly can't help because it is on a case-by-case -case basis and it needs to be on the basis of a complaint received by us. From a passenger. And do you have to act, Sarah, on the basis of specific uh, complaints, or can you not yes. see that there is a broad trend here where customers are The way are that being... the regulation works, it doesn't allow for broad action. It is an individual passenger, their contract, the proof, the evidence in their particular case, and an investigation of that. 
That's a bit and that's mad, how the regulation it? is implemented. So, it doesn't allow for broad sweeping action. So it you're the regulatory body the for system. airlines in the country and you can see, you can see clearly as, as we can here on the show from just discussing it a couple of times that there are, you know, a, an unknown but a very large number of people out there who the airlines have not treated well, who are withholding their money um, from people and the regulator can't act unless people specifically complain. We, uh, it, my department, my area, we are the enforcement, national enforcement body for a piece of European regulation and it it sets out the terms under which those investigations have to be carried out and it is very much individual passenger complaints to the airline. The airline doesn't provide the passenger with what they should have or doesn't respond and then the passenger can complain to the national enforcement body and it's just the way the regulation is written. Okay, I understand, and that's, that's not your fault. I just wonder, can you even talk to the airlines, you know, not not in a sort of a waving your, the, the stick sort of way, but sit down and talk to them and say, look, there's a problem here. Will We've you sort it out? We've been engaging, the Commission for Aviation Regulation has been engaging with the airlines and does always, but has been since the beginning of this COVID situation. Um there are a number of reasons why some passengers have not received refunds yet. And it, they are broad, varied, and t- there are too many variations really to get into any kind of detail. But some of the refunds have gone astray. Uh, so the airline has attempted to issue refunds in some cases, and the refunds just haven't made it to the passenger for various reasons. So the money's so there, gone missing in cyberspace? Each case has to be looked at individually because it's, it's the only way we can do it. Okay. Uh, do you think that's satisfactory? It's worked for 3,500 people who've got their refunds this year. I wonder, are you getting the same number of complaints against all the airlines or do you notice there's a particular trend towards one in particular? Um, I can't really comment on that, although we will be publishing numbers next year in our annual report. It's too early to say because some airlines respond to passengers sooner, so we see the complaints sooner. And other airlines maybe have more goodwill and it takes a little bit longer for the complaints to start coming in. And do you think that you have enough powers to enforce what you need to enforce? Or do you think it would be better, for example, if you could go to the airlines having noticed a trend and and tell them to get their act together? Or are there other enforcement powers perhaps that you think would be useful having seen what you've gone through? That's not for me to comment on. We we have the powers we've been given by the Irish government and we operate within those. That's that's outside of my uh, remit. All right. Um, just one or two uh, other complaints, just very quickly, I might put to yourself, Sarah, and then I want to go back to Darren. Um, just you might give us an example as to whether or not these people should contact you directly. Uh, one person saying, I got a voucher from Aer Lingus four months ago after cancellation, not for the correct amount, though. I'm five weeks now waiting to get this resolved. That comes from Patricia. Could you help, Patricia? Yes. yes. OK. Yes. Blackrights.ie. Um, eight, months on, I'm, eight months on, I'm still awaiting a Ryanair refund. That person should contact you? If their flight was cancelled. If their flight was cancelled. Okay. Yeah. Um, just one or two others. A partial refund offered by Ryanair as a voucher. How can I get the rest as a total refund? Again, it depends on whether the flight was cancelled or not. So we would need to look at the details. But all of these people, if they go to flightrights.ie, full information is available there on their rights under the regulation and whether or not they have received what they should have. Um, and they are also very welcome to contact us. Our contact details are on that website too. Okay. So they can email us and we can assist them further. Yeah, lots of people sure. getting in touch in relation to it, actually. Uh, one person asking, could you ask Sarah if I can submit a complaint form if all my communication with their lingus thus far has been by phone? And another person saying the Flight Rights website says all previous correspondence, I'm assuming that's with the airline, has to have been by email. So is there a problem there if you don't have a paper trail? We prefer a paper trail because it does make it easier. But when it's only a cancellation issue, we can deal with with um, with complaints without that. Um, okay. With, we do need, however, in all cases, the booking confirmation, and it should show all passengers the price that was paid, and 
what the contract was, so the the um, details of the slide. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue for most people. But don't yeah. give up just because you've been having conversations by phone, just because you don't have emails. It, it's worth logging on and making a complaint and seeing how far yeah. you can get with it. Yeah. Okay. And if anybody's in any doubt, they can always give us a call or send us an email. As I said, our details are on the, the Black Rights website. Yeah. Just um, one, one important clarification on all of that, Sarah. Can you help people if they've been dealing with a travel agent? Yes. You can. OK, it's not just directly with the with the airline. OK, because we have a lot of people who have had issues with uh, travel agents. We'll deal with the complaints as we need to. And um, right. we'll leave whether we have capacity, we, we will have to arrange it if we need to. OK.